For sure, baby. Right, that's what I'm talking about. So listen up. Let's just talk about something real quick. I'm gonna go to First Corinthians chapter eleven. Right here we see a lie in First Corinthians eleven and four. This is what it says. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, dishonoreth his hand. Let's see how that's a lie. Go to Ezekiel. Forty four. Forty four and eighteen, they shall have linen bonnets upon their heads, and shall have linen breeches upon their loins. They shall not gird themselves with anything that causes sweat. So they're having something upon their head. Now let's go back to First Corinthians eleven, because there's more lies in here. Like verse for instance, verse fourteen. What does it say? Does it does not even nature itself teach you? That if a man have long hair, it is a shame unto him. Now, let me show you how that's a lie. Let's go to Judges chapter 16. Real quick. And then, uh, I'm going to read verse 17. This is what Samson said. He that, that he told her all his heart and said unto her, They have not come a razor upon my head. Will have been a Nazarite unto Elohim from my mother's womb. If I shall be shaven, then my strength shall go out from me, and I shall become weak and be like any other man. And when Delilah saw that he had told her all his heart, he sent and called for her doors to the Philistines. So, right here, we're seeing that Samson had very long hair. Now, I'm going to read something in the book of Numbers real quick. Numbers chapter nine, uh, 6. We're talking about the vow of a Nazarite. I'm just going to read the essential parts. Of course, you can read the whole thing. It says in verse 5 All the days of the separation, and shall no razor come upon his head until the days be fulfilled in which it separated him to Yah. He shall be holy and shall let the locks of his hair of his head grow. Let the locks of the hair of his head grow. So, of course, Paul says a whole bunch of lies. You know, I can go many different places in the New Testament. One we really love to, to get them with is Hebrews chapter 7. This one's a doozy. I'm going to go to verse uh, 3. Because I like to get to the you know point. To Melchizedek didn't have a father. Well, he didn't have a mother. He was without descendants. Neither had the beginning of days nor ending of life. Now, is this the most high... You know, then you ask like a Christian minister, does Melchizedek have a mother? Does Melchizedek have the, You got to see what they say. Oh, my God. The New Testament is full of so many lies. Like, in fact, honestly, I'm just, I'm not, I didn't even prepare for this, but I'm going to go look at any random lie. Oh, I don't even want to read that because that shows that Paul's a fag in 1 Corinthians 7 and 1. talking about you can only touch a woman. You shouldn't touch a woman, I mean. Let me read that real quick. You know, concerning these things, when he wrote to me, it is good for a man not to touch a woman. I'm not even going to go there. You guys know that's false. 
that's too false. But I'm just going to turn the page, and eventually a lie is going to pop up. I mean, oh, Corinthians is full of lies. In fact, I'll just deal with this one. Right here, we see in Galatians chapter, let me see. Verse 16, because actually I'm going to keep it real. Verse 10 is a lie. Verse 11 is a lie. Verse 12 a lie. Verse uh, 13 is a lie. 14 is a lie. Um, I know 16 is a lie. Let me see, 15, it doesn't like a, hold on. Brethren, I speak to the manner of men. There'll be but a man's covenant. Oh, that's a lie. It's Yahweh's covenant that he made with Israel. There ain't no man's covenant. What the heck is he talking about? You see, he lies on everyone. But let me read verse 16. It says, not to Abraham and his seed were the promises made. He said not to seeds as of many, but as of one to the seed, which is Christ. And let's see how this is a lie. Now we go to Genesis to actually what Abraham was blessed. Did it say one seed or did it say, let's see what it said again. I'm going to read Galatians, the lie first. Then we'll get to the truth because I'm going to cut this, this. I just want to do this for my subscribers that's new. I'm going to try to come and do more videos. So I'm just... I just throwing these together for y'all. But it says, Now to Abraham and his seed were the promises made. He saith not unto seeds as of many, but as of one. And that one seed is Christ. And let me show you what Abraham promises made of and how it is talking about many seeds. We go to the book of Genesis chapter. I need to get my other scriptures because this one doesn't have. Hold on. <laughs> the scriptures are so tattered I, I read through them so much Okay I'm not bragging or nothing I think it's Genesis chapter 26 Verse 4 And it says I will make thy seed to multiply Now that obviously means There's more than one seed It says I make thy seed to multiply Let's keep reading though As the, I'm going to start all over And I will make thy seed to multiply As the stars of heaven And will give unto thy seed all these countries And in thy seed shall all the nations of earth be blessed Because Abraham obeyed my voice Kept my charge, my commandments, my statutes And my laws So right here we're seeing that seed is more than one person of course, I have many other lies, but it's already almost eight minutes. It's enough lies for for right now <laughs> in the New Testament. Yeah.